Hello everyone and welcome back to Faith 2. I played the first game uh, some time ago and I just loved the style, retro shit and shit. And I just had to play the the second installment. And is this me? Our cars of Hellia? Mirror? Tell me who you are. Where are you, demon? Where are you? You're in the closet! No. You're the lamp! No. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been in contact by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for the discretion. You will, you will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Okay, uh, can I get my book? Uh, my book? My book? My secret book? Uh, what my book? Nope, apparently not. And eh, eh. that okay. That just looks like me, I guess. And that's me when I don't sleep for 48 hours. Jesus. as fuck, don't you? Oh! Shit. How are we doing today, my dude? I like to go on. You got to go back till you get better, my dude. Can I see mommy and daddy? I need to make you better first. Then can she let you get on me? How dare you? If you find them to be people, Pendejo! Die, Pendejo! And my home is gone. Where are you, Pendejo? Pendejo! Donde estas? Invisible walls. Perfect. Pendejo, ¿dónde estás, pendejo? Que te cojo, pendejo. Uh. Oh. Shite. Oh, shite. You got the photo. That's two weeks. That's one day. One day, yeah. Oh! That's open. What's in here? Nothing. What did I just get? What? What did I just get? Oh! Bye. I guess. You sack of shit. Damn did I. Dios mío, what have you done? I have the body of a pig. You can fight the boat, evil. You shall drink the wrath of the Almighty. 
<laughs> and we're blue now. And have a white cross. Okay. The stones are all good. I guess. The tree's bad. Nope. No, oh, it's not shaky. Nope. Oh shit. Poor soul. You're free now. Beho. Notice. Aviso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Okay, that doesn't work for me. No, I do Automatic doors on the cemetery. Noise. Oops. Nope. 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 Don't tell me it's the tree. It's the tree. It is the tree. Touch the. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like. A long lost friend. I wonder why though. Nope, the tree is okay. That's my fault. No, no. There is the chapel. The chapel. Verlai, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. He must then serve his demon. He must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to save the family. Doom whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. Okay. Statue. Cross. No. Cross. No. Little grass. Nope. Another two? Nope. And no. And that's it, Tomb, I guess. Enter the spirit house. Oh shit. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have a key? What? Uh, eh? Uh, say what? They lost their souls or something? Eh? Uh? Spider one? No. Oh! Now the doors are open. What's up here though? I'll leave that to later. Walking in the cemetery. What the fuck are these statues? They are not pointing to YMCA, are they? Nope. Oh shit! Die, Kido! Die, 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 die! Stop! Mortis. Oh shit, oh shit, no, no, no. No! No, 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 no! Oh, Get the fuck lost! Get the fuck lost!
losing grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. And they took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there. Only, it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember my chills from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have to work. They say they have work for me. They do. Poor Kido. Whoa! Endless shit. <coughs> This guy's pointing right. This is pointing down, up, left. And this guy's like, Hooray! I don't know. Hooray! I lost my head! Is this actually a cemetery? Damn, looks like more like a labyrinth or something. Jesus! Don't tell me. Oh, come on. Come on. Wait, this uh, right up, left, double up. Try it. Right. Up. Left. Double up. It did nothing. Mm -hmm. Right, up, left, double up. Or oh, is that down? I don't know. Right. No. No. No, that's not right. Wait. What if he's double up? Left, up, right. Right. Nothing. Yeah, excuse me. I'll be back here. I'll be back. Can I do something to the to this hell status now? No. Oh maybe. I'll come back later. Save point. And there's one less. And if you take close attention to those heads, one of them is off. Oh. So that probably means three left. We got three bosses left. That's a pain in the booty! And I got something to defeat right there. I bet. A tiny closed space. Up the touch! Power Christ! It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Mary Martin, 48, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40. Devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. 
their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cini was a CPA and, more recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969, in Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at Tillinghast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are, are sur Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. Stay Jesus with a cross in his back. What is that? Why the hell is there a school here? Uh... What the fuck? I see you! 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 I see you. Don't you dare! Damn, oh shit! I'm a You're what? No, 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 You get lost! Lost, 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 bitch! You fucking crazy frog! You crazy frog! Cray! Crazy frog! Any bit. Cross is cross? Miss cross? Nope. It's not. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words. Just a big, warm smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and I was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Carrie. Okay. Now do I need to try that other place again? And yep, only one left. No, two left. And one soul the same? Probably. So, left, up, nine. No, 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 I can be right. Won't hurt to try though. Left, up, run, my boy. You gotta run, my boy. Double up. Then right. Doesn't work. Can do shit here. That's left. That's a double up. That's right. Left, 
double up. That's a double up. This is doing nothing. That doesn't work. Double up, left up, right also doesn't work. 82 kilometers later. I swear to the Almighty. Oh! <laughs> ah, shit! Lost, it lost, it lost. Lo uh, uh, shoot, shoot. No, no. Damn it. Teleport, this son of a. You like to teleport, don't you? That was easy. That was easy. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away. But by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge. Guided by beings of pure darkness, I have been dressed with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned to correct enduring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. Can I do anything else here? Guess not, and blood's gone. I guess. Why not? Back to the set point. Whoa, the statue is gone. The statue is gone. And this is empty. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell? Why the fuck? And my image in the mirror is gone. But I got a key! And I was the last spirit. Wait, what? Lucky luck, I made a heart with my blood. So cute. And now the blood's gone. Why the hell there's a kid there? <coughs> Excuse me. Do I need to use the key here? Oh shit! I'm watching you. My blood's gone. Just a resave, just to make sure. Of you one of you one of you oh 
Oh, shit! I knew it. I knew it. Do I really have to fight that shit? Do I really have to fight it? One of you. I'm gonna find you. Yeah, I'm gonna find you. Yeah, I'm gonna find you. No? No? Okay, sorry. I leave. Say what? She guards the door to the underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear. What the fuck was that? Just right now. I see a rock. Needs to be purged. Actually, no. Okay then. That's a lot of loops here in this game. <clears throat> okay, that's a lot of loops here. What's in this church? Well, I'll check it out in a second. Hey! Hey, kiddo! Come here, I have, a, I have some cookies. Squeeze me. I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs? Children? The thing that took them? It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinding scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I actually just did. I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there. Me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled into the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran to. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody, capping hole. Do I need to walk here? Uh, I do. Nope. Can't scare you anymore. Up. And... Up. I guess. Okay then. Into the Doom Church we go. Confess thy sins. Day one of our paranormal investigation to the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tips, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we ask some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before, evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme that told us, walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome! We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. Did this have to do anything? Nope. Nope. Thanks? Nope. Nope. Nah, I guess not. What's in room number one? Thought it became silent just because I was in here. Why the hell does all the skulls have something? Night three shouldn't have come here. Tapes missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. 
can't leave anyway. Can I do something? Pray for me, Father, for I have said. What seeds have you yet to get fish? I try to save a girl from evil. But my fear so overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry. And broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again. But in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. Did I? I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sad of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give nope. thanks to the Lord for his good. Nope. For his mercy and yours forever. Nope. Nope. Wait, where the fuck am I? Is that the lady? That's the lady. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. And we're just going to town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can if we can't get these words off of some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us, it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought nice meek. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Okay. So that's wood boards. Can't do anything here anymore. Did this candle change? Negative. Did you say that? Okay. It's on this side. What's on this side? What the hell is this shirt anyway? Give me the I want the power cross. I want the power cross. Holy shit. Give me the power cross. Why can I have the power cross? Is she following me now? Night 2. We're gonna be rich. We've got supernatural stuff on camera before. Sure, doors opening on their own, things falling off of shells, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got it all on film. We're gonna make it fortune selling this to the TV stations. <sighs> What the hell? Oh shit! That's what happened to the girl. Nope. Nope. What am I missing here? What am I missing here? Do I have to walk room to room now? I saw that. The kind of lead was a top one, not that one. Walk room to room. And the lady will appear. Isn't that right? Crosses are gonna all fall down again. Nope. Why? Why? 
y only one candle now top and bottom what was that I found you bitch nope Do I need to... Yeah, I do. So we released the woman. Now we... M must walk room to room. Room to room. Do I have to do all that again? Oh, come on. That's bullshit. That is all totally bullshit. And I bet you those stairs are gonna open up when I defeat them. the cross and then cross faults no cross faults all the crosses fall perfect I can have the mighty cross it's gonna happen nope not really it's gonna happen nope not really what about now it's gonna happen? Nope, not really. One, two, one, two. Okay. Nope. It's gonna happen? Nope, actually not. But it does happen only on that room as it seems. Two candles, two more candles. What am I doing wrong? Baby, come to me. I am waiting for thee. Can't do anything here. Music just stopped. Never mind. She's here. Found ya. Nope. 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 You did. The candles are out and the stairs are open. Down we go. Thank you. Darkness surrounds thee. This is my final memoir. Hesley scribbled on a page of the cookbook. I now descend the staircase knowing full well that the she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past two. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me. Father Clark, the foolish old man, going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon.
pressed. I saw you. I better take a pick up this. Just in case. What? What? Do I have to do this in order or? Eh? Eh? What was that? So there's this and so checking on this picture on my phone right here. I can see nothing. Yet I saw that. It's trying to kill me. In the nuts. If I step on anything, that activates. But why? What's the point of this picture and this hand? The top one should work in this note. That's the bottom also note. Yeah. And that's on the right side. Try to make this sequence. That and that 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 Slightly different though, but okay. That that actually worked. Okay. Yeah, mother of demons. Who's the bitch? Who's the bitch? No one. Heard. And I'm back to the woods. Paragraphs can barely count him. Nope. Apparently not. And I'm walking the woods and I'm walking in the woods Okay What just happened here? Three murdered in the latest wave of ritualistic killings Sterling Gone The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder? Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and Troy Inglis are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonium Regnant. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where the residents reported the tomb has been desecrated. They also found trails of blood re leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of bodies in the ritualistic pattern, as well as the writings of certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. Killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17 year old girl by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. That's a fucking lie! That's not what happened. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Uh, I'll what the fuck is happening to the music. Let's me back. 
Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales and Inglis because, after all, they were degenerate devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, would you? That's a girl! That's a girl! The girl's back! What the fuck is happening? No, no, no. I didn't die, did I? The... What the fuck am I? What the fuck am I? What the fuck am I doing? Where the... Am I going to heaven? That's some burn up shit right there! I'm normal. What the hell? Is that an arrow point pointing down? Question mark? Is he here? Water? Can go to the sides? Water? More water? More water? And Leaves and uh, leaves, uh, and I can't climb this shit. Why was it pointing down? And no sound. No sound. Pardon up shit. Can it tunnel? Woohoo! Finally! Is that Jack Sertikai? Nah, probably not. Can I do something with this? Uh, there's a path here. Alestar? Uh, that's a skeleton. Bye bye, ghost. Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one de deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Oh shit. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after the police raided the tunnels, where suspected murder Joe Bauman, aka the candy store killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bowman was wounded in exchange and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. What the hell is going on here? I see something red there. I see something red right here. Satin leaves. Satin the leaves. Another skeleton. Yep. 
Tomorrow they are discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Tomorrow bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel known in the area to be a home to addict gangs, runaways and the indigent has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bowman, aka, aka the candy store killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. Damn. That's actually odd. Aki! Aki! Nope. So am I gonna find a murder here or something? I see you! Went up right there. I see you, bitch. I see you. Read what? 666. When? Don't. Move. When you eh? when you see it, don't move. See what? See what? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm not moving. Okay, I'm moving. The fuck? There's nothing here. Hello. Nothing in here. Let's go to the left. Up and down. Now let's see what's on the other side. Setting leaves. Oh. Oh, this is as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. And twice a month they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really Bitch! Why? Why? Okay. I will not bless you, child. Bless you, child. Fuck you, bitch. Not gonna get me. Yeah, not gonna get me. So it's up here. Got it. Got him. I'm slightly darker than that water. And what the fuck is happening here? What the fuck is happening here? Am I on the pipes? Am I high? Yeah, I was on the pipes. Nothing here. Lots of crosses. No. 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 Excuse me, but mm, no. 
What the hell is up with all this blood? I'm sorry, God, please save me. What the hell? I'm following the freaking trail. Okay, actually, I'm not. <laughs> actually, I am not. <laughs> What's up in here? Uh, I'm gonna choose bottom again because there was something at least not a pitch dark room I'm afraid of the boogeyman oh shit oh hi 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 Will you die here I come. Oh shit. I saw the fucking child. I saw the fucking child. Now there's two. What? What the hell is this? Nope, 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 nope. Die. What the fuck? I actually got goosebumps. <laughs> Come on. There's something here? No. Nothing in here. A lot of blood though. A lot of blood. <coughs> okay then. Can I come here now? Oh. Okay. Again with the signs. Yes, I'm here. With a flashlight. Ready to crack your head open. Squeeze me. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> they hate the light. What the hell is with all these kids? Come on! They hate the light. Oh, fuck! Two? Three? Come on, give me a break. Oh, there's something else here? Nope, blocked. The gun's gone, yeah. Freaking music, man, come on! Again with the kids. If one touches me, I die. I bet. Oh. Oh. Fucking hell. Nope, you're not gonna get me. Fuck you! I open this 
door? Or was that key? Yes! Let us go! Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no murderer, God. There is no but you could have God. But Amy found her soul is at rest. Let us go. We're going. We're going. Why? It body day batteries at Philly at Spiritus Sandy. I will say both the Lord, he despised refuge and my fortress. My God, if he I will choose, I shall not be afraid of the terror if he might. Screw you, kiddos. <laughs> Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. What the hell is all this silly guys? He will deliver me and honor me. But they must be such a god. They saw me to be dead body. But they must be such a god. They saw me to be dead body. She did. Nope. Actually, the fucking boss. Why? Ah! Nope. Nope. Get lost, bitch. Die. That's it. Talk. Mortis. <laughs> Bitch, you die. Oh, yeah, you're going to die. That was fast. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Come on, what the hell? What the hell? What just happened? John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back. Karen. You know my fucking wife's left! Ah, that cross better not turn.
glasses. I'm not going in there. Why? Why? But I want to. Another feather. John, we don't have much time. The Prophet Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. Father Garcia. My nightmares are getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work with Amy, but now the boys are in danger. This time I must not fail, Malfas must be stopped. As the profane Sabbath draws closer, the workers of darkness grow stronger. This will be my greatest test of faith yet. God have mercy on my soul. Gotta save the boys, boys! No time to waste, gamers. Let us save the boys! Ending one, go forth with faith. Damn. That was Faith Chapter 2. What an incredible game. What an incredible game. It was way longer than the first game. The animations were the same, although there were a lot more, of course. But it was insane. The atmosphere. Although the gameplay was kind of the same, a lot of boss battles, the story all connecting to the first game, and now getting us ready for the chap for chapter 3 that's coming out soon. God, I just can't wait. I need to play chapter 3. Right now! Right fucking now! But I shall wait. Just a tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Just that. Just that. I'll wait. I'll wait. Erdorf Games? I'll wait. So, I hope you enjoyed this game. If you want to play for yourself, I will leave the link in the description down below. And. As always, I will leave links for my my social media. I will leave link for you to subscribe if you want. I will leave a nice description for you to read and laugh and say, "What the fuck is this guy talking about? Is he crazy? Is he stupid? Is he whatever?" And that's all about it. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press like and please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this. Not this game, but the same type or even other stuff you might not even know about. And ring the bell if you want to know exactly when I'm going to upload that kind of videos. And I guess I will see you in my next one. Will I? I know we will. I know we will all play the next game. All together. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. And I will see you on the channel.